Shield Weather, certified most accurate. And good evening, everyone. Okay, last night in Latimer County, we had a tornado, and that was just south of Damon, a reported tornado damage crossing Highway 2 near the intersection with Highway 1. That was south of Damon. And also in Damon, some large trees blown down. But in addition to that, the Craven Fire Department was damaged by that storm. And ahead, as we look at, into the rest of the month, and remember, if you watched our uh, spring severe weather special and you watched it again back on uh, Saturday night when we aired it, and then we did something on the web, we predicted some severe weather possibilities. And when, indeed, we had one for Sunday and we had one for Friday. And Friday night, we had that tornado warning in Okfuskie County. So next week, I think Sunday holds potential. And again, for Tuesday, Wednesday, and at the end of the month, if you want to see the rest of the summer forecast, I just updated that, including a look at the 4th of July. And you can go to KJRH.com and look at my summer forecast. We aired that during the uh, severe weather special Saturday night that aired from 615 to 630. And I posted that summer forecast for you if you, in case you missed it. All right, right now, Midtown camera, blue skies. That is so gorgeous out there. Near 70 degrees with a northwest wind at 12 miles an hour, the relative humidity at 44% and the dew point currently at 46. Here's the forecast for the next 24 hours. By 10 p.m., we're cooling off quickly down to 56 degrees. Middle part of the night, few clouds arriving, clear and cool tomorrow morning. Cool for May, 48 in the morning. Sun cloud mixed tomorrow afternoon and highs in the mid 70s, anywhere from about 72 to 75 with a wind switching to the south. So clouds now are visible on the southern horizon. But high pressure is in control. If we look way out here to the west off the Baja of California, that's our next chance of rain. So this disturbance moves across Mexico, up across Texas, and eventually into green country and should be arriving here Wednesday morning. The timing in our in-house computer model has it later in the day on Wednesday, but I think this moisture will make it up here by maybe 10 a.m. Wednesday morning. And so we'll be cloudy with temperatures in the 60s and a steady period of rain, especially Wednesday afternoon. And you can see that rain moving back in, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder. And so there's the potential to pick up another half inch to inch of rainfall in some spots that don't need it after almost getting 10 inches of rainfall in many locations. Today's high 69 degrees officially after a very cool morning low of 47. The averages are 78 and 58. So we were nine degrees below average on the morning low and also on that daytime high. So it was a cooler than average day. And tonight we'll do it again. Morning lows are going to be dropping. Watch some of these locations. Muskogee into the lower 50s, even upper 40s. Bartlesville around 42 to 44 degrees by tomorrow morning. Tahlequah in the 40s, warming back up to 50 by 7 a.m. And Grove around 44. Coffeeville at 41. Forecast for tomorrow, again, low to mid 70s. Partly cloudy skies. We'll start to see the clouds increase as the day goes on. The UV index will be high tomorrow before the clouds get here. The air quality is good. The pollen again high in its tree pollen. It's dominating that pollen forecast and the storm chance tomorrow is zero. So tomorrow's highs in Bartlesville around 74 degrees. Coffeeville around 73, 74 at Pryor and Tahlequah. Mid 70s at Muskogee and McAllister. Upper 70s. At Bristow, here's the seven day forecast Wednesday morning, 54 degrees and then an 80% chance of rain Wednesday. And that's a cool high 67 morning rain and thunder on Thursday, clearing off up to 77 with sunshine Thursday afternoon. Friday looks a bit unsettled near 80, 40% chance for showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, 82 with a 20% chance for showers and thunderstorms. And Sunday, I have right now on the yellow or in the yellow with a severe risk possible. Hey, no risk of any severe weather this morning out at Guthrie Green. Taft Price and I and the Two Works For You weather team out there doing our weather wise weather show with a bunch of kids from all over green country who are going to the drillers game later on in the day the game started at 11 a.m they were out there for our weather show and a concert by the red dirt rangers and we had a lot of fun and thank everybody for coming out all right coming up at